Yankees fans, what is going on? Here at Chat Sports, we are starting our first baseball channel, and of course it's the New York Yankees. So if you love the Yankees and you're looking for another way to stay in the loop on the latest Yankees news and rumors, hit that big red button. And turn your notifications on because we're going live for game one of the ALDS. So subscribe, turn your notifications on, and let's ride. Welcome into New York Yankees Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. It is good to see all of you guys. The first video ever on the channel. I feel special. You should feel special. And it's special times because it is playoff baseball. ALDS is here. We got the Yankees versus the Guardians. Game one tomorrow, 7.37 p.m., Eastern, the Yankees, they're favored minus 201, and the total over-under is at seven runs. This is a big game for the Yankees. you got to come out hot and win game one, especially because you have your ace on the mound. you got Garrett Cole on the rubber, and the Indians, they don't have their ace on, on, the, on the mound. Cal Quantrill, he's a good pitcher, no doubt about it, but he's not Bieber. He's not their ace, and that's why the Yankees are minus 201 in Vegas right now as the favorites. The Yankees, look, you got to have Garrett Cole come out and just shove. He needs to come out and shove because if you remember last year, and we'll show you those stats in a second, the wild card matchup against the Boston Red Sox, it didn't go good. But it seemed like he turned a corner in the 2022 season where he was one of the best pitchers in the American League and maybe even in the entire MLB. 13-8 and win-loss, 3.5 ERA, 257 strikeouts, a record for the New York Yankees. 12 strikeouts per nine innings. This guy is crazy. This guy is crazy. He can strike him out with the best of them, but as we know, he does give up a good number of home runs. 33 this year, which was the most home runs allowed in the MLB. So his strikeouts are amazing. But we know when people create contact against Garrett Cole, it has the chance to go over the wall and be a home run. And we saw that in the wild card game last year against the Boston Red Sox where he didn't look good. And it looked like a waste of a money, a waste of money signing him in for the agency. Just two innings pitched, three earned runs, two home runs, and he also walked two batters. He never looked comfortable. He never looked like he had his best stuff. Some people say it was a spider attack, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to hear about that. But Garrett Cole has the opportunity to rewrite his history so far as a New York Yankee. He comes out in ALDS game number one and shoves, goes six, seven innings, doesn't give up any runs. He could change the mind of a lot of Yankees fans really quickly and show them that he is a big-time pitcher and he can succeed in the postseason. So I want to ask you guys this question. And we're called Chat Sports for a reason because we are all about audience interaction. I'm going to be asking you guys a lot of questions because this show, it is really a two-way conversation. It's not just all about me up here talking about the Yankees. I value your guys' opinion, and I want you to be heard, and I want to hear what you got to say. So let me know, who do you got winning game one? Type NYY for the New York Yankees or CLE for the Cleveland Guardians. Let's take a look at the ALDS pitching matchups for Game 1, Game 2, and Game 3. We got Garrett Cole and Cal Quantrill facing off Game 1 on Tuesday. Then you got Nestor Cortez against Shane Bieber. I would say that the Guardians have the slight edge in this pitching matchup. I love Cortez. I love his stuff. Bieber's just got more postseason experience. He's their ace, and you could argue that Cortez could be the ace for the Yankees, but I think Bieber is a little bit of a better pitcher. And then game three, can we have big game Severino, big game Sevy show up? We need that guy back in pinstripes. He's going to be going up against Tristan McKenzie for the Guardians. I like the Yankees to at least go 2-1 and one in these first three games. It'd be awesome if you can get a straight sweep 3-0. I like what we have at the pitching spot, especially the starting pitchers. We just need big game Sevy to step up. I have trust in Cortez. And look, it's Garrett Cole. He's got to pitch like he's Garrett Cole. If he does, Yankees will start this series 1-0. and This is my projected New York Yankees ALDS lineup. The Yankees, as of Monday afternoon, have not submitted 
their official ALDS lineup. So this is the lineup I think they will go with at least for game one. I think Aaron Judge will be that leadoff hitter. I mean, we could talk about Aaron Judge all day. We know that. Arguably the best player in baseball, and in my opinion, he is the best player in baseball and the best hitter, and he is the home run king. Anthony Rizzo in the two spot playing first. Glaber Torres needs to have a big season. He needs to have his coming out party. And he needs to have a lot of Yankee moments this, this postseason. Look for Glaber to be big. Josh Donaldson, he was clutch all season for the Yankees. So many walk-offs. Keep that same energy. Keep that same confidence. And be a guy that delivers when your team needs him most. I also want John Carlos Stanton, just like Glaber Torres, to have his coming out party with the Yankees. We know he's had big moments. We know who he is. MVP with the uh, Marlins. But it's time for him to stamp himself as a New York Yankee. I need John Carlos Stanton. You need John, Car John Carlos Stanton to have a big series against the Guardians coming up. I got Oswaldo Cabrera in the sixth spot. I'm still concerned about six through nine in this lineup, but it's just, hey, look, those guys do their part. We need the big guys to show up. Stanton, Donaldson, Torres, Rizzo, and Ju uh, Judge. And also, Aaron Boone said that Matt Carpenter might and it will. He pretty much said he was asked about Matt Carpenter playing and being a part of the ALDS Lineup, and he said, I fully expect that, Aaron Boone. He looks great. He's been getting all his live ABs. He actually took Nestor deep yesterday. If you can get Carpenter back, that'll be a big, big addition for the New York Yankees. I do want to ask you guys this question, though, because let's be honest. If the Yankees fall short of the World Series, and this is every year, it's a failure. That's what we come to expect as New York Yankee fans, and it hasn't been good for quite some time now. As I, when it comes to postseason success. So I want to ask you, if the Yankees come short of winning number 28, winning the World Series, whose seat is hotter? Type A, B for Aaron Boone, or do you think it's Brian Cashman? Type B, C. I want to hear from you. Who's got a hotter seat entering the playoffs? We also got to talk about Araldis Chapman. You probably already heard about it, but he's not going to be on the ALDS roster for the Yankees. And by the sounds of it, about what Brian Cashman said, he's done as a Yankee. He's expect he will be a free agent this offseason, and I don't expect after what I heard that the Yankees will pursue him in MLB free agency. Bob Nightingale said this earlier today. Yankees pitcher Araldis Chapman said he would attend their mandatory workout if he was definitely going to be on their postseason roster. The Yankees could not give him that assurance. Chapman stayed home in Miami. The Yankees told him to stay there. His Yankee career is over. So pretty much the Yankees had a mandatory, mandatory workout session for everybody on their roster to come before the ALDS got started. They asked Chapman to come. Chapman said, am I going to be on the roster? They said, it's not 100%. He said, I'm not coming. And the Yankees said, thank you for your services. You are no longer needed. You will no longer be a part of the New York Yankees. And that's what Brian Cashman said today when he was asked about Chapman. He said, there were some questions about whether he's been all in or not for a little while. He's maintained verbally, but the actions don't match the words. All in all, I thought Chapman had a solid career with the Yankees, up and down, no doubt about it. It's just, look, this is unprofessional, and you have to earn the right to play for the New York Yankees. And if you're not bought all the way in, I don't want you here. So, Araldis, thank you, but we'll see you later. And I want to ask you guys this question. What was your one-word reaction to the Chapman news? When you saw the push note that he wasn't going to be on the ALDS roster, and he pretty much essentially chose that he doesn't want to play for the Yankees right now and going forward, what was your reaction? Give me your one-word reaction to the Chapman news. Mine, I was pissed. Pissed off if I want to cheat a little bit, two words, or if you want to hyphenate it and make it one word. I was pissed off because you have an opportunity to be a part of the New York Yankees, the most storied franchise in all of sports and you thought you were just too big time to do it pisses me off he doesn't deserve to be here I want to hear from you though hey Yankees fans give me a follow on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore on Twitter I'm trying to get to 3,000 followers and I want more Yankees followers and I'll do this everyone that follows me from this video I'll follow you back because I want to follow more people on Yankees Twitter so if you love the Yankees and you're on Twitter give me a follow at Marshall Green underscore and also, guys, this is video number one, but we are just getting started here at Yankees Now by Chat Sports. Come out hot.
Garrett Cole, play like an ace. Go six, seven innings. Double-digit Ks. No home runs. Just play like Garrett Cole plays. Be a big game pitcher. That's what you were with the Astros. I appreciate everybody that's made it this far in the video. If you haven't yet, hit that big red button. And I want to do this, and we're going to set a culture here on Yankees Now going forward. If you made it this far in the video, that means you're a real one. So comment real one down in the comment section so I can decipher the fakers from the phonies and I can know who finishes the video.